that I have talked about um, so that I can show you girls how I organize my jewelry. Um, and I will tell you that this has been painstaking <laughs> two years of trying so many different, um, different ways, different processes, different ideas. I've tried this, I've tried that. Um, this is the latest and greatest that I have come up with. Um, I have watched a thousand trainings on YouTube from other elites and other paparazzi consultants and how they do it. And I've taken a little bit of, um, taken a little bit from this one, a little bit from that one. And you know, if I like that idea, I kind of tried to uh, incorporate this, incorporate that. But we are down here in my, my very, um, I don't know, this is just, this has been a dream of mine to have this room for the last, well, year and a half. Um, and it's finally come to fruition and I am so proud. <laughs> I'm proud of it. I'm just going to say that. Y'all say hi whenever y'all come in, by the way. I hope y'all are looking forward to, um, seeing what I got going on here. And let me, as a disclaimer, let me just tell you that everything that I show you today is only a suggestion. And if you want to copy it, you know, verbatim and, and make it happen, make it happen. But if you have other ideas, if you, um, if you got a great idea on how you organize, this team page is yours too. It's yours too. If you want to go live and do a training and show everybody what you got going on, I welcome it. I want you guys to use this page to um, not only gain wisdom, but to share wisdom. Okay, that's what this is for. Many of you don't have a team yet. You don't have a team page. I get it. It's great. But if you have great ideas and you want to share them, this is the place to do that. This is the place to do that. We are a team. We can help each other, okay? So please feel free to use this page <laughs> to share with not only um, me, but the entire team, your downline, your sideline, your sisters, cousins, you know, all of us girls. <laughs> We're family. Feel free to share all of that with us. We need it. We all need that kind of support and that kind of wisdom and that kind of, you know, sisterhood um, right here on this page. And we as a team can grow together. How's that? All right. So real quick, I'm going to tell you kind of the process, um, kind of the process of what happens with all of my jewelry from the time it hits my very doorstep until it reaches this room and then how it goes right back out, okay? Because isn't that ultimately what we want? We want to purchase our jewelry. We want to get it in here, and then we want to sell it and get it out, right? That's the goal. So I'm going to walk you through that entire process. Now, you won't see the first process because that the beginning process does not happen in this room. Um, in this house that we, uh, we are in right now, Many of y'all know we just moved here just a few months ago. Um, we're renting, so I have to be very careful with what I put on the walls and how I do things um, in this house. But um, we have four bedrooms in this house, uh, four small bedrooms. Um, we have two bedrooms downstairs, two bedrooms upstairs. 
One of the bedrooms upstairs I have turned into an office. So that is where I do all of my lives. That is where my computer is. That is where I do um, most everything happens upstairs. Um, and when jewelry hits my front door, the box comes in the house. I go through it quickly, make sure everything's there. I pull out my little uh, packing slip. I make sure I have all of my jewelry and everything is correct. And then it goes straight upstairs because that's where I go live and sell and do my sales. Okay. So I set up my lives using all of my brand new jewelry that has just come in and I show all of my new stuff. Now I will mix in some of my old pieces with my new, but just to follow that box, you go from the doorstep, you're going to go upstairs and it gets shown on a live. Once the jewelry is shown on a live, it is all packaged into baggies. Let me show you really quick how I do that. All of my jewelry goes into baggies. It goes into Ziploc bags. Yes, I should probably own stock in Ziploc because I'm telling you, <laughs> the house is full of them. But necklaces and larger bracelets go in the gallon size Ziplocs. My bracelets and earrings go in the smaller, like sandwich size Ziplocs. Um, when I set, you know I show in sets. Most of y'all know that. When I go live and I show my jewelry, I show all my jewelry in sets. Okay. So let me, I should have, um, a lot of it has been organized this week. I don't know if y'all know, I hired me a little girl from my youth group <laughs> to come and help me organize. So we've been working hard on getting that done. But here's, here is a set. And what I do, what I do, and this is one of our men's sets, is in the large bag is my necklaces. Now there's only one left in this one. This one has been upstairs. It has been shown and I have one left. But when it first came in the door, I put it, my necklaces in the large Ziploc bags. Then I have bracelets in the smaller ones, smaller Ziploc bags. Now these are bracelets that I thought would go nice with this men's necklace. So what I did was I took those three bracelets in those smaller bags and I stuck them in the bigger bag with that necklace. These, this is now a set. Okay, so this is now a set and I will show that on my live upstairs. Once that live is over, I will divvy out all of this jewelry. Let me take you guys off the stand real quick, real quick here and I'm going to show you real fast. See the little shoe organizer I have over here? That's a little shoe organizer. It just hangs over the door here in my bling room and on these pockets I have, let me see if y'all can see that. I have little uh, tags that I print out and it's got a place for me to put their name. I have a show on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I put on that tag how many pieces they ordered each of those shows. Each of those shows. So I know, a to and if they order off of an album, I got a little slot for the album uh, right there. So I know how many pieces this person got for that week. I invoice only once a week. I invoice once a week. So that tag helps me. I'm going to put y'all back in the trap. Um, that tag helps me when it comes time to invoice. Okay. I use that tag, add up how much they've ordered in the week. And on Friday afternoon is when I send out invoices. Okay. Once the invoice is paid, then their, their jewelry is taken out of their little pocket and it's put in either a, just a paparazzi bag for my local girls. Some I deliver, some they pick up. And if it's shipping, it's put in their little bubble wrap bag. Okay, so I know that one is paid for. So at the end of um, the weekend, because I give them all weekend to pay, because I ship on Mondays, at the end of the weekend, I can quickly look up there and see who has not paid 
their invoice and I can send them a quick little reminder, hey, your invoice is still open, today is shipping day, you need to get that paid. Um, and most of the time that kind of takes care of it. They, oh, I'm sorry, and they'll go ahead and pay that and it'll get shipped that afternoon. So that is the process for the new jewelry. Once I'm done with that process, all of these set bags, the bags full of sets of jewelry, come downstairs to the bling room, okay? They're all in a big bucket and I carry them down here and then they're separated back out, okay? They're separated back out. I'm gonna take them back out of the tripod again. I'm gonna flip the camera this time. We're gonna go into the closet. I'm gonna show you real quick. I have all of these bins, all of these bins in my closet. Now these bins came from the Dollar Tree. They're Dollar Tree stackable bins. Every bin is only a dollar. So you can, you can, you can do this pretty, pretty cheaply, pretty cheaply. I mean, I have a bunch of them, but each one of these bins are labeled with what's in them. Silver, silver, that's just my silver stuff without any kind of bling. And then if you go on down, you've got um, the silver and diamond. That's the blingy ones. So I've got necklaces, then i got bracelets, then I've got my earrings. You see how I'm, I've done that? So each bin is labeled with what goes in there, okay? Now, um, all of those baggies... Let me grab this. Hang on. All of these in the bags are separated out and then they're put in their appropriate bin. So now I know what I've got in here. Now, everything that is on my wall, let me, that's all my organizing stuff over there. I used to use those little small bins a lot. Also, I still have overflow of old stuff that has not been pulled out and put into rotation yet. That's coming up next. Still a work in progress. Okay, I'm going to shut the closet. Now let me walk you through the boards on the wall in here. I have all of these boards. I mean, most of y'all have seen my room for the most part. I have all of these boards on my walls, and they're organized in colors. Y'all see that? Let me show you really quickly. Then we got Miss Hannah up there with a Z collection piece on, but you know, we'll, we'll address that here in a second. So this is where my numbering starts. And if you'll look, every hook has a number and I have them backwards and forwards on my little labels there so that if I want to show them um, in a live this way, they can still read the number. If I want to flip my camera, they can still read the number. However, they, however we need to do that, um, it's ready to go. But this is where my numbering starts, and it starts at 501, and then it works all the way around the room. Now, if you take this piece and go straight down, this is number 502, number 503, number 504, number 505. All of that, those five hooks are a set. All of those are going to go together. You know why? Because they're all silver, silver. That's where we start. Okay. So the room goes from silver, silver to silver and hematite, silver and bling. Then you got silver and black diamond. Then you got silver and white. Then it goes to silver and black over here in the corner. That's pearl. Sorry. Black. <laughs> and then we've got browns over here. And then it skips the window and it goes to the orange. It's a very small section of yellow. I got some green, then it goes to red, then to pink, then it goes to purple, then it goes to multi. Then we have to jump down to the stands in the middle of the room. This complete stand that I have here and girls, this is just pegboards that are zip tied together. That is a zip tie. There are several zip ties that create this and it just stands on the floor. This is this has been such a lifesaver. I'm just saying. But this entire stand is all blue. I have a ton of blue. My customers seem to adore blue. So there's all of my blue. And then I have these smaller stands that have all of my other metals. 
if you see here, you got copper. This one spins. So we've still got copper on that side, and I've got gunmetal here. And again, just like on the wall, if you take one hook and go straight down, the hooks under it all match. This is all going to go together, and it could be shown as a set. My customers love sets. Sets are upsellers. Girls, if you have a necklace, match something with it, and um, your people are going to snatch an extra piece. Maybe they love that necklace, but they don't have earrings to go with it. Well, show them some earrings, and then they'll buy both. You know what I'm saying? Um, or if they're a bracelet girl, show them a bracelet. And then my other stand over here is my gold and brass. Okay, and again, sets all the way down. Everything matches. And then I have a little shoe rack. This is a shoe rack that I bought from Walmart. It's like 15 bucks. And then those same little plastic bins from the Dollar Tree. And this is all of my wrapping snaps. And if you'll see, I have numbers set in there. If something sells out, it's okay. That bin is still that number. So I know um, where to find a particular numbered piece. Now here's the really, really cool part. Every peg in this room has a number. Every peg is numbered. We're numbered from 501, and I think my very last one is number 1467. That's how many uh, pegs I have in this room. Now, you only hang, or I only hang one of each piece. You see I've got a lot of blank spots. I had a sale. And I need to come back in and fill this in, and I'll tell you how we do that later. But with each peg having a number, a consistent number, their num that tag or that peg number will never change. Like that peg right there is number 552. It will always be 552. I don't care if there's anything on it or not. That peg will always be number 552. So let's say someone comes in and they purchased number 557 I take a look this is a triple layered little short necklace number 557 if you look right down here at the bottom I have all of these bins now these bins come from Walmart here's a here's a whole thing this is how I purchased them these are 10 and I think the last time I bought them, they're normally $9.97 for all 10 of these. Um, I think the last time I bought them, they were on sale for like $7.79 or something like that. So they're less than a dollar a piece for these bins. But if you notice, all of the bins are numbered. These numbers correspond with the numbers on the hooks. So if they wanted number, what did I say? That was number 557. I'm going to come down here to this bin and find 557 is going to be in this bin right here because this one starts from 561 to 575 so there's several pieces of jewelry in here so I can pull that and in one of those bags and I'm not going to dig through it but y'all get the idea right in one of those bags is all of the 557s that I have now if there are no more 557s in that bin, that means that one on the board would be my very last one. So I'm gonna pull it, it's sold, which means that peg is now open and it now comes just like this. So that one is sold out, right? Well, I still have a number 557, right? So what I'm gonna do, <laughs> is I'm going to go back to the closet after we've sold that it's out of here it's gone to its new forever home I'm going to come back in here and that was in the silver silver section so I'm going to come to the silver silver necklaces and I'm going to grab a silver silver short necklace out of one of those bags and I'm going to put it out here it's going to become that number 557 and then that full baggie is going to go in its bin down here so now we just replaced what we sold okay that uh that 
that peg <laughs> now has a new piece of jewelry on it. Does that make sense? Y'all let me know what you think. Okay, <clears throat> another thing that I am just getting started doing, and this may be uh, for a lot of you girls that don't go live, and maybe uh, you don't like to show your face on Facebook, you don't want your face out there, this may be another option for you. I have these shelves. Now on these shelves right now, I have my Z collection pieces. Um, but this is going to be a multi-purpose shelf. If you'll notice, I have, this is, I got this at Hobby Lobby. It is technically an earring holder, but I'm going to use it. Let me show you. Hang on. Um, what I'm going to do is, instead of using that as an earring holder, I'm going to create sets. I'm going to create some sets on these little busts on my shelf. This is gonna be for my wrap and snap bracelets or any of my bracelets actually. This is gonna be a bracelet holder because honestly, those little round ones like this, some of the bracelets don't sit on them right. They spin, you can't see them, right? So I decided I'm gonna use this and I can get me a little push pin and to hold that in if I need to. So I'll have a necklace, I'll have my bracelet, I got these little cones, I'll put some links to um, all of these pieces that I bought um, that I can. I bought those little cones on Amazon, uh, but that'll be a ring. So I'll put a ring to match, I'll show you where I put my rings by the way too, that I haven't shown you that yet. And I also bought these little earring holders, okay? so. Now, I'm going to set up a complete set of jewelry on each of these. I'll pull y'all out again. I know. I'm going to make y'all dizzy. Um, let me flip you. So, I will set up a complete set of jewelry with a necklace, a bracelet, a ring, and some earrings. And this is going to be a full set. So, once I get all of these sets put together up here, then I can quickly go live with the camera turned around just like it is right now and say and I'll I'll put some numbers up here or tell them how to how to claim them sometimes some of the girls actually use words you know if you want to claim this one uh, comment sparkle you know whatever but so you can quickly go live and do okay here is number two the bracelet that's gonna be your number four um, here's number, you know, you see what I'm saying? So you do a quick run through, do a little speed sale, do a little speed sale using your shelves. So that is another option, um, for selling if you don't want to do a full live or maybe, you know, you don't have a whole lot of time and you just want to go live real quick and try to, try to sell a few pieces. So, um, oh, I was going to show y'all the rings. I have not got all of the rings set up. Most of my rings, that's my ne that's this week's project, but most of my rings are in the gonna be placed in these little holders. You can get these little holders in your back office. I think they're like $7.99 in your back office. They're perfect for those wide band uh, rings. See how the slots are kind of wide? They're perfect for our rings. I have several of these. This is the only one that I have rings loaded in right now. But if you look over here on top of my bin uh, shelves, I have all of these little ring holders. So I will be putting all of my rings. I got these little ring holders at um, Hobby Lobby. And I bought this one online. Um, but I really like I really like this style because you can see the rings a lot better. And again, those are the ones that are available in your back office. So, but uh, eventually I will have all my rings set out as well. Again, like I said, that's going to be um, this week's project to get all of those. Right now they're all still in their little baggies in a box in the closet over there. <laughs> so, that is my uh, jewelry organization. That is step by step how the jewelry comes in the door, gets shown on a live, stocked in this room, and then uh, shipped out, um, and then restocked. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I will tell you that um, my goal, because I do have this room set up now, another thing that I could do very quickly, very easily, is have a home party. Now, once COVID is over and we can invite people to our homes again, that's my that's my exact intent is to start having um, little get-togethers here at my home and all of us girls can hang out, drink coffee, and shop the jewelry room, the bling room. So that, uh, that will happen. I don't know when, but hopefully once all this COVID mess is gone, um, that will be just another avenue and another way for me to sell. Now, another thing that um, I have been asked is to do some training on other ways to sell. Now, I have done a video on, on ways to do that, um, but I haven't gone into detail uh, on those ways because honestly, I haven't done a whole lot of other ways of selling because uh, live has always been my way. That's just how I do it, and it's been very successful for me. But as I start to do these other ways, I'm definitely gonna start um, trying to do some more trainings on that. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them real quick. We'll go over those. Did I, if I missed something or if you're, you, you didn't understand what I had going on there, let me know <laughs> and I will surely answer any of your questions. Um, this video will be posted to YouTube, by the way. It'll always be available in our team page for a replay, so if uh, maybe you didn't get to watch uh, now while we're live, uh, feel free to watch the replay. And it will also be uh, posted to YouTube pretty soon so that um, uh, it'll be available for anyone who wants to, to check that out. So if you have not liked and subscribed to my YouTube page, please do that. All you gotta do is uh, do a, a YouTube search for Robbie Star. It's gonna pop up for you. Um, but I do post a lot of my trainings out there as well. And honestly, it makes it really easy to find. Sometimes people have uh, trouble finding my trainings on our team page, but with them being out there on YouTube, it makes it really easy because they're all in one little spot and uh, you can just scroll through them. So there you go, girls. That is how I have organized my jewelry in my bling room. And uh, honestly, I'm super excited and really glad that this has come together because honestly, this place was a huge mess <laughs> before I got all this done. Um, you know, before we go, let me show you real quick. I know a lot of y'all are probably renting and you're like, how in the world is she hanging all that stuff on her wall without much damage? Let me show you that real quick. I found these little hooks that are amazing. Let me see if I can. Sorry, I don't mean to be in your face. Yes, 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 yes. And I just dropped one. Robbie dropped. Um, these are Gorilla Hooks. I got them at um, Lowe's. And it's a large pack of them. But what they are, they're little uh, U-hooks, U-shaped hooks. And honestly, they are the easiest thing in the world that I have used when it's come to hanging stuff. But let me flip this and show you really quick. Um, there we go. See, there's one of those little hooks. And I've got, uh, what, on the large board, I think I've got six of them across the top of that. But literally, you don't need a hammer or anything. This is just a little U-shaped hook. And you just place that, and I'm not going to push it in, but you place it on the wall. And if you press and wiggle that, it'll pop through. And then it just pushes up into the wall. And uh, these things hold a tremendous amount of weight. A tremendous amount of weight. Like I said, I've got six of them up there holding that large board with all of that jewelry. And the hole that is put in the wall, all of them are hung this way, is tiny. It's super small. It's a super small little hole that it puts in the wall. And uh, so there's minimal damage. And because these are the pegboards, y'all know, you gotta have some space behind it, right? For your hooks to go in. If you screw this thing to the wall, you don't have that space behind it for your hooks. Well, if they're hanging from these, 
if they're hanging from these little hooks, they're loose on the wall. See that? So your hooks will easily pop into your uh, into your pegboards, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, also, I think a lot of y'all probably saw um, the little lights that I created out of the, the boxes. Aren't these cute? I love them. So cool. Um, those took me about literally about five minutes per box to to make so super easy i just put those little those stickers on the side like i said they're stickers those are little blingy stickers i got from the dollar tree that are on the sides of those boxes and those lights um they have a little sticky they come with a double-sided sticky pad and i just popped that on that box and i uh, used double stick tape to stick those to the wall. So there's no holes at all in the wall when it comes to hanging those. So minimal damage in here to hang all of this stuff. I thought that was awesome. I was so glad I found all that because I wasn't sure how that was going to work, like I said, in a rental situation. But um, that is how I got all those up there. So there you go. I don't see any questions. Any questions at all, girls? Any questions at all for me on how this is all done? Um, yeah, I'm loving it. It's working for me. <laughs> so there you go. I don't see any questions. Nothing is popping up. So there you go, girls. We're going to go ahead and call it a day. I know there is another training. Madison is doing a training in her video here pretty soon. One last Thing. If you are planning on joining us for the recognition night, um, coming up on the 28th, we're going to try to start at 5 o'clock, but um, I'm still waiting on the, um, the confirmation on, you know what, I'm not seeing any, hang on girls, no comments on my phone, but I'm, I'm looking at my computer now and I'm seeing them, so we'll go over those here in just a second. Well, my phone is not giving me my comments. I will go through those. Give me one second. Um, if you are planning on joining for the recognition night, I do need a head count. I have a post in the Papa Stars page. Please go out there and put your numbers. Yes, you can um, bring your spouse, boyfriend, significant other to that event. I just need a head count. Let me know how many are coming. We want to make sure that we have enough room and we have enough snacks for the evening so please do that also uh make sure and put your vote out there for what you want to wear if you want to be if you do you want it formal do you want it casual do you want it business casual How, what do you want y'all be sure to do that so let me look real quick at some of the comments see if we got questions da, 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 da. need to have my husband put a lazy susan miss brie i have a lazy susan on the small ones we just didn't put one on the big ones but hey it works right um, let's see. More organized than me. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. Great show. To show Starlet Shimmer. That's a great idea, Brie. Okay, any questions? Using wood behind each peg. See, Brie, you didn't have to use the wood on those. What paint do you use for your boards? Spray paint? I actually used, uh, I rolled on the paint, um, Beverly. It was not spray paint. I don't think spray paint goes on smooth enough. That's just me. And I actually didn't roll it. I used a little sponge brush to paint all of mine and all of the boards. Darlene, what do you do with all the jewelry wrappers? Do you save them? And I put the wrappers in the baggies. Um, Darlene, I only unwrap one of the pieces of jewelry. And that is the piece that's either shown on the live or hanging on the wall. And that wrapper goes in that baggie with all the other pieces. So that way, when I sell one, I pull out the ones that have not been taken out of the baggies first. And then the last one that gets sold, I use the wrapper that is still in its baggie. And I put that piece of jewelry back in its wrapper and out the door it goes. So I try to reuse all of those wrappers. I try to reuse all of those wrappers. Um, let's see. Well, it looks like that is the only questions that I had. 
Anything else? Any other questions, girls? Like I said, I know uh, Madison is getting ready to do a, a training for her team, the rest of her team as well, so we won't, we won't hang out too much longer. We want everybody to be able to, um, to join her as well. But anything else, anything else, y'all let me know really quickly. Got it. Yay, Darlene. Sorry, girl. I don't know why my phone is not showing me my... <sighs> not showing me my comments. I'm seeing where y'all are coming in on the phone, but the comments, thank God I pulled up my computer. Or I'd have missed all of it. So there you go. That's how I do it. Um, girls, like I said at the beginning, if this works for you, do it. If you have other ideas, that's what this team page is for. Share your ideas. Let us know how you're doing it. Who knows? We might enjoy your way more. <laughs> I, like I said, whenever I first started uh, trying to come up with how I was going to do this, um, I watched so many YouTube videos of other consultants and just I took a little from this one and a little from that one and you know, kind of made it work and made my own little system here. So um, feel free to share your ideas here on the Papa Stars page. This is your page too. This is not just my page. I want you guys to uh, help each other, you know, give us ideas, give us your thoughts, and that sort of thing. And just know that I love y'all and y'all have a good Saturday. It's going to be a great week weekend. It's hot. Y'all stay cool. And uh, we will see y'all again real soon. I'll see y'all later. Bye. Every single day, I'm gonna.